Hi Virgos, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your reading for the month of April 2021. I've already pulled a few cards and I'm going to get into the beginning message right away. Any info you need is below, okay? So what I'm seeing is that you and someone are missing each other tremendously. Um, the person that you're missing could be, uh, I want to say an idealist. I don't know, maybe this person's ideal to you. But what I was getting is creative, artist, entrepreneur, someone who is a strong go-getter. Because I have the, ter the determination card here. Um, but more importantly, what I get is this. We have a man and a woman, as you can see here. And these two people are missing each other. What this is representing is all the other elements in between people, family, business, relationships of all sort, children are all in between. It looks like keeping these two apart, but they cannot, like they're not stopping thinking of each other. You and this person are heavily thinking of each other. I do see a third party in this situation very strong. And that's part of the problem. What the problem is, is this person got themselves in a situation where they became determined to make goals come true, to make things happen. And so they really built something in this situation. And it's kind of till uh, the death of them energy. Um, this card talks about being so strong until it hurts or literally until, you know, you're done type of thing, like for your life type of energy. And then I see a woman's energy here as well. Now, this is what I'm getting from this, but you can put it anyway. And the thing is, is this woman's picture is actually right here by the man. So, I mean, we can say, no, I'm going with what I'm getting because what I'm getting here is this woman is tied to this man. And the unfortunate thing is this man may be coming across as a bit of a player or not knowing what they want. But the thing is, the reason is because they don't want to be where they are anymore. Um, at one point they wanted to be there. At one point they made the decision to stick to that spot, but they no longer want to be there. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. I see religious factors. So this person could be married. But more importantly, I see you and this person want to be together and you guys cannot stop thinking of each other, okay? So let's see what we get here. We have the lion and the butterfly coming out at once. Someone could be born in the year of the lion. Um, someone could be a Leo, very loving. But more importantly, what I get here is, you know, this energy has gone through some sort of a transformation, okay? Someone here has gone through a transformation. Uh, it may have been a full circle. They may finally have opened their third eye energy they may finally be realizing uh, where they want to be and what they want, okay? So let's get right into your reading, Virgo, and see what is coming up for you for April. There will be an extended on my Patreon, and that's that. So we're starting with the Three of Wands in reverse. So I do feel that someone may have been in a situation um, thinking of one person, having another person, but something has changed. They don't want to stay in that third party energy anymore. Um, I do feel that someone is finally wanting to make a move, a move of success. And it's towards what they want. It's towards who they desire. We have the star card here. It's toward a, towards a wish. But I do see this energy of a female um, in the background. So let's just see what that's about. Okay. Yeah, that's the situation that's over. But there's there's a problem here with ending this. This card I forgot to flip back over. Um, so we have the nine and the ten of swords and the ten of wands. There's a delay in here. Uh, there's a delay in ending this. So what has the delay been for this person? And we have the death card and the queen of pentacles. So it can be because there's literally a marriage. It can be... Um, due to security, stability. That is why there is a delay in ending this. This person may not want to lose that security and stability. Um, let's see what else we have here. But you know, the funny thing is, this relationship has been over time and time again is what I get. It's just never been finalized. It's never um, been fully completed. But as I already told you as well, like, even the woman in this situation feels tied to it, feels like they have to be there. And this woman may actually have her eyes on someone else or feel that the person that she married is no longer the same person. And it's just like, why am I here? Why am I tied to this, this game? This I'm seeing the monkey there that she's tied to, right? So we have the 10 of cups coming up here with the ace of cups. Now, 
this is this is really interesting because what I'm actually getting is the female here uh, that's not happy has given quite a lot and given pretty much her all to the situation. She even feels that way, but she also doesn't feel ha happy or welcomed here anymore. Um, it could just be an energy thing, but she does not want to be there, okay, is what I'm getting, Virgo. So if there's a third-party situation... The third party, the wife or whoever that may be, the karmic energy actually does not even want to be there. So why are these two together? Well, we already saw there's a little bit of a delay um, with this person ending it for some reason. So why else? The eight of wands and the ten of pentacles. So this person, uh, they could kind of be in this situation that where they're worried about making change. The interesting thing is, is in the Ten of Pentacles here, this is about a person becoming single. It's not the Nine of Pentacles, but this is a single masculine here. So, and it looks like, you know, if he boots it out there, he, or leaves the situation, he's actually kind of worried about that. So let's see why. I'm going to take the top card. Uh, I'm not going to take that other card that came out just yet because I'm not feeling it. So there's an issue with love, and that may be tied to this Four of Cups. This person, um, what is it? Let's get a little more here. So there's something when it comes to love. This person has an issue either expressing themselves. Um, they feel very tied up when it comes to that. This person honestly could actually have some sort of, like they need counseling. That's the right way to put it, right? Um, because this person may feel powerless when it comes to speaking about wanting to go somewhere else. Uh, let's see what else. Speaking about wanting to leave. Judgment card. So there's something here where this person does feel powerless. Also, I can see that this person is possibly dealing with a very strong energy that is very threatening is what I get. Okay. Now, how does this person feel about you, Virgo? Because we have the Six of Cups. Because we need to get into that more. And the Prince of Cups. So this person definitely wants to come back to Ace of Cups and the Princess of Cups. So you and this person are actually a perfect partnership. Like you can make a perfect partnership here. Um, you soften this person. So what I get, Virgo, is the person you're dealing with is actually quite uptight in some ways. Maybe not with you, but in general, I see this person coming up. Like they may be a Scorpio, just a very strong energy this person could be very well known, so they kind of have to keep their boundaries up or keep an energy about them. Um, this person I also see being very desirable, so you may be dealing with someone who's very handsome or just very char charismatic, okay? Now, what's going on with this ending here? Yeah, this person really wants to get out of this situation, but like I said, there is... It's just like an angry energy watching them. And like, what's that about? What's that going to, what's going to happen with that? Because clearly it's a bit of a blockage. So what I'm getting here, here's that angry energy again. This person does want, not want um, others to know that they want to go to a new love. There's something like that. Like there's going to be issues for some reason. Why would there be issues? Let's see if we can get the answer to that. Well, we have the Prince of Swords. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing why that would be an issue due to the Prince. Oh, the Queen of Swords. Okay. So literally, I mean, the only reason this can be an issue is because maybe this person would be caught that they had cheated. Um, or maybe it would be confirmed that they were cheating or that they're, they're player or they were playing games. Maybe that will be an issue in court. Um, but I do see that this person does want to break free from this situation, but it's, it's something holding them back. So, yeah, they want to go to you. They're nine of cups. They're wish fulfillment, passionate energy here. So this is interesting. Let's get a couple more cards and see how this person feels about you. And then I'll take this into the extended and we'll see exactly what's going to happen because this person does want to leave a situation um, I haven't called because I don't know where to start, okay? So this person plans on calling you, but right now they haven't because they're not sure exactly where to tell you. And maybe things have not completed, so it may not be the right time, right? Um, sometimes, oh, at times, 
I question my life path and purpose is what this person's saying. And then it's something is in the way every time I try to come to you. So I'm going to dig more into that. I hope you got some information from here. Um, it looks like this person does want to come towards you, but they are worried about looking like they were a cheater or something like that um, to the person they'd be leaving. I kind of feel the only reason they would worry about that is because it could be used against them. Um, it could also be because it's quite embarrassing because like, as I said, this situation is filled with other people having their, there's them in them being in this situation as well, whether it be family or children, um, parental issues, whatever it may be. Okay, Virgo. So thank you so much. I'm going to move over to the extended on Patreon. If you want to join me, the link is below. And if you leave me here, this is absolutely fine. I will see you again in a couple of days. Let me know what you think of this reading. And also let me know where you're from, if you don't mind, because I just like to know where everyone's from. Okay. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.